Today we're going to be doing a quick review of scientific notation. We use scientific notation a lot in chemistry because we talk about atoms a lot, which are really, really small. Or sometimes, because they're really, really small, we talk about atoms in large groups. And then those numbers are really, really big. So I wanted to take a minute today just to make sure you remember your scientific notation rules. So first, a couple of quick reminders and examples about how to take a number that's in standard format and turn it into scientific notation form. So first, if the number that you're trying to convert is a relatively big number, larger than 1, when you go to put that in scientific notation, the exponent's always going to be positive. If the number you're trying to convert is a smaller number, smaller than 1, so a fraction, not necessarily a negative number, the exponent will always be negative. One other little reminder, when you take a number and put it into scientific notation, the best place to put that decimal point is behind the first non-zero number. So as an example, you would write 1.57 times 10 to the third, not 15.7 times 10 to the second. Technically, those are the same two numbers, but the proper way to write them is with that decimal between the 1 and the 5. So I'm going to try using those rules to do numbers 1 and 2, and then I'm going to have you to do numbers 3 and 4. So if I take that decimal and put it behind the first number that's not a 0, it would go between the 8 and the 4. I would include any other non-zero numbers, 8.4189. And now, I have to figure out what my exponent's going to be. Well, in our heads, we have an imaginary decimal point back here at the end of that very large number. We don't write it typically, but it, it's hiding there in our heads. So what we need to do is figure out if we temporarily put that decimal between the 8 and the 4, how many times do we have to move it to get it where it really belongs? So I would have to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 times. And because I have to move it 11 times, and this is a big number, I'm going to make it a positive 11. In number 2, I'm going to follow the same process, put the decimal behind the first number that's not a 0, so it's going to go between the 5 and the 8 times 10. Now I have to figure out what the exponent is. So if I temporarily put that decimal between the 5 and the 8, to get it back where it really belongs, I'd have to move it 1, 2, 3 spaces to the left. Because I'm moving it to the left, this is a little number, so my exponent's going to be negative 3. You take a second, hit the pause button, and try out 3 and 4, and then when you're ready, unpause and come back and make sure you got the right answers. You should get 2.945 times 10 to the positive third, positive third because the number you're trying to convert is relatively large, so we get positive exponents. And number four, our exponent's going to be negative seven because the number we were trying to convert is on the smaller side. How about if we wanted to go the other way? We have a scientific notation number, and we want to turn it into a standard number. So if the number you're trying to convert has a positive exponent, then again, that means that it's a relatively, oops, a relatively large number that it's greater than 1. And if you see negative exponents, that means it's a relatively small number, less than 1. So I'm going to try 5 and 6, then you're going to try 7 and 8. When you see 3.14 times 10 to the negative 6, the negative is telling you this is a small number. You have to make it less than 1. In other words, our decimal is going to be moved to the left. So when we say 3.14 times 10 to the negative 6, I need to move it 6 spaces to the left. In order to make that happen, I'm going to have to tack on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, then a 3, 1.
four because that if the decimal is between the three and the one that would be like moving it back here's one space and then the here's the additional five so for a total of six moves in number six where we see that positive five exponent that means it's a big number so i'm going to move it five spaces to the right so if i just stopped here that would be as if i had moved it three I have to tack on a couple extra zeros to get this number to be the right size. You hit the pause button, try 7 and 8, and come back and make sure you got the right answers. You should get, for number 7, 1382.7. That exponent is a positive 3. That means it's a relatively large number, so we want to move the decimal to the right. In number 8, we see an exponent of negative 4, a relatively small number, so move your decimal to the left.